Hi guys! I am way overdue for this art diary video. So mid-January I went to Chicago. If you follow me on Instagram you probably already know this. My friend and I had American Airlines credits that were gonna expire so we're like let's go to Chicago in mid-January when it's really cold so we can freeze. <laughs> That's a great idea. Day one, Chicago. We're at the Bean. It's so I'm trippy. Touch it. I almost couldn't even see it. Yeah, let's touch it. I'm touching the bean. Oh my god. We got to see the bean at Millennium Park, which is really, really cool. I really liked Chicago's bean. You guys are lucky you have a cool sculpture like that in your city. What were you saying? How was our food, Taylor? It was amazing, worth every minute of our time. What about you, Ashley? Did you enjoy your delicious food? <laughs> We went to the Art Institute of Chicago, which is an amazing, amazing art museum. They had a huge impressionist collection and it was it was really, really awesome. I loved seeing all the artwork and zooming in on the close-up. So uh, it was really inspiring. I love seeing paintings. I love going to museums. That was probably one of my favorite parts of the trip. We also went to the Shedd Aquarium. I got a bunch of aquatic reference images and I uploaded them to my Patreon um, and also obviously for my own art as well. I got some awesome jellyfish references. The thing is though, there's something that really really bothered me and made me sad when I was there and that was that they had dolphins and they did dolphin shows and they also had beluga whales. I don't support SeaWorld. The documentary was heartbreaking. I don't think orcas should be kept in captivity. I know the Shedd Aquarium takes in so many rescued animals and I know they also claim that like the, the belugas are there for research purposes. They die three times faster <laughs> in captivity. I don't know you guys, I, I had really weird feelings about that. I am against captivity unless it's like an injured animal that needs rehabilitation or it just is not going to survive in the wild. I really think that dolphin shows need to be done with. I don't believe in exploiting animals in that way. I know the Shedd Aquarium takes really good care of a lot of their animals and they take in a lot of rescues and that's awesome but you're in the middle of a huge city please retire them to a sanctuary but anyways it was a really cool experience overall um, there was a lot of beautiful aquariums there and I got some really neat footage we went to the 360 observatory and we got like tilted over <laughs> the building over the city I uh, also got a lot of really neat pictures there. We were there for literally three days and two of those days were travel. So we had one whole day where we were actually in the city and that day um, I posted a picture on Instagram from the park. People kept messaging me and commenting on my pictures like, can I meet you? Like, you're in Chicago, oh my god. I'm gonna feel like a terrible person if I don't at least try. We had like our whole itinerary for the trip planned out so there was really not much I can do but I figured in between um, the museum and like another place we were going. I told my friends like hey I'm gonna do a, a quick meetup in Millennium Park in three hours like such Short notice. I think it was even less than three hours But it was really 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 short notice and I was pretty much expecting nobody to show up And it was also really unfortunate that it was super dark so you couldn't see Anyone's face. It was just really dark and it was so impromptu and I feel like kind of dumb for being so spontaneous. Someone did come say hi. I don't know if anyone else did, but if they did, I'm really sorry. It was freezing and we left shortly after. Jose came to say hi and brought me a hoodie that he designed and some stickers as well. Thank you so much for coming to hang out and this awesome, awesome gift. Florida has been on and off with being cold, so this is definitely gonna be awesome for me and definitely gonna keep me warm. And then on our last day, we went to the sky deck, which is like where you stand over the city in like a clear glass box so everything's basically under you it's like you're standing over air and it would have been really scary if there wasn't zero percent visibility there was literally zero percent visibility because of the weather that day it was so weird and and eerie and like you couldn't see anything you could just see like the building 
going down and then it fades away and then the building going up fades away and it just really throws your whole perspective off but it was also really cool so yeah um and then we went home and that was three weeks ago because i suck at posting things as they happen i went to a wedding two days ago one of my friends got married it was a really beautiful wedding Besides that, I've just been doing the usual painting, filming, editing, shipping orders. I'm just doing normal human things like trying to feed myself and get enough sleep and <laughs> get exercise. My life is so boring, which is why the only reason that I actually film art diary videos is when I'm traveling or doing something that's, I don't know. I, I don't think my life is interesting. <laughs> To me, painting is the most interesting thing that happens all day, but like you guys already see that. That's already my whole channel. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff in the works. This video was a little bit of a different format from my usual vlogs, but I hope you liked it regardless. And I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Internet hug!